So I generally tend to look forward to new updates, beta releases, things I can test out and get a feel for, and bring you a video on those new features and how they can change the way in which you work. If you take a look at my recent video on the Bricks Builder 1.5 beta release, you'll see there's a ton of new features, including things like sections, divs, all kinds of good things. There's so much going on inside that beta update. So 3.7 of Elementor, the free version, has just been released a few hours ago. And thanks to Mark Harris for pointing this out to me because I didn't actually see this. So thank you very much, Mark, for letting me know how this important, massive, game-changing update is going to change the way in which we use Elementor from this point forward. It is that big an update in 3.7. And like I say, this is the free version. Yeah, I know, I'm just taking the piss a bit here, but let's be honest about it. Elemental, you just make it just too easy. Four key new updates. Let me show you what they are, and you can tell me how important you think this is in a major interim release. 3.7, not 3.71 or 2 or something like that. Let's have a look. Okay. Let's hop over and take a look at the very first option, which I'm not going to test out because I don't use this kind of thing. But we now have the option, or we will have when this releases, to localize your workspace. Now, for anybody that's not an English speaker and doesn't use English as their first language, I'm sure this is something that is important. So we'll let that one slide a little bit. But I'll put a link to this in the description below. But it shows you how to test this out. I don't change languages, and I've got no test environment to test it. So have a little look and see if you think that's something useful to you. The next one, this is going to be a massive, game-changing feature for everybody that uses Elementor. We now have a number scrubber. You heard me right, a number scrubber. Yes, this does improve the usability, no doubt about it. But a major update? Let's take a look at it in action. So jumping over into Elementor, let's go ahead and insert pretty much any widget you want, anything that effectively has the ability to change things like margins, padding, anywhere you've got numeric values you can insert. So let's hop over to the option for advanced and inside, our margins, you'll find now, if we come down to where it says top, right, left, or bottom, it changes to the little scrubber symbol. And now we can click and hold, and you can see we can scrub any of the four sides, or if we unlink, we can scrub each value independently. Pretty useful. Not game-changing, but useful. If you hold the control or the command down, this will then increase that in 10 pixel increments, or whatever your units you're actually working with. And if you hold the Alt or Option key down, you can reduce that to one pixel units or whatever unit of measurement you're using, so fine tune it. So a useful little feature, but hardly groundbreaking in its very inclusion. Next up, we have the ability to define custom icons in alerts, video and image carousel widgets. First of all, let's start off with the video option. So let's insert a video into our page and you'll find if we come down now to the image overlay, we can now enable the image overlay and we can use our own SVG. We can upload our own icon or we can use the icon library. Let's go ahead and choose an image. I'll choose my logo. We'll sit insert image. And now in the middle of my video, instead of the play button, I get my own custom icon or logo, whatever I want to use. Brilliant. Yes, there's sarcasm in that. Next up, let's go and take a look at one of the alerts. So let's come back over. We'll do a search for alert. Drop that in there, and guess what? We can now use a custom dismiss icon. You heard me right. You heard me right. Let's do the same again. We'll choose the SVG icon, and we're going to use my logo one more time. We'll insert that in, and boom! Instead of the X to close the window down, we now have a custom icon. Pretty amazing, I'm sure you'll agree. Okay, the third and final one of these amazing, amazing features is the new slider. Oh, I should say, not the new slider, the image carousel. Let's drop that inside there. And guess what? For the next and the previous arrows, we can now create a custom icon. I mean, what? What? Boof! Head explosion time. 
Again, you see the same option, upload an SVG, choose your image, insert, and you'll have that in there. So let's just add an image so we can even see this. And here you can see, we now have my customized arrow on the left-hand side and the standard arrow on the right-hand side. Now, I know this is probably difficult, difficult to contain your absolute sheer excitement, but there is one more that you need to know about. Let's go ahead and remove all of these options. And now we have the piège de résistance. I can speak French as you can tell. We now have the ability to define which WordPress screen you exit to from the editor. <coughs> Bricks. Sorry, you, you said something? Now to make this sweeping change, this is going to change the way in which you use Elementor. Normally, the first time you try this to exit out of the editor, you'll get the option to exit and it'll it'll little pop-up will appear asking you what you want to do. Or you can go in to the preferences and change this for yourself. You see, if we go to user preferences, we now have an option that says exit to, and it says this post, all posts, or the WordPress dashboard. Let's choose the WordPress dashboard. We'll update, and then we'll go ahead and we'll test this out. So are we ready? Three, two, one, exit. And we're back in the dashboard. Can you believe how you've lasted this long without having this amazing game-changing feature included in your everyday elemental life. I mean, it is, again, poof, mind-blown kind of things. But all sarcasm aside, and there's been a little bit of that included in this video, come on, elemental, pull your bloody finger out. This is not even remotely interesting for probably 99% of users. Yes, they're nice little quality of life features that, yes, they do make things just a little bit easier, but come on, take a look at your change log and then take a look at the Bricks change log for their recent 1.5. This is a two or three man team. That's all they have inside Bricks. And we've got the new section and div elements. We've got nested elements for accordion sliders and tabs, so we don't need to embed any kind of templates in there. There are so many useful features in both 1.4 and now 1.5, which is going to beta only six weeks after 1.4, which is a massive update, was released into the public. Bear that in mind. Have a little look at my video and see what I'm talking about. But that's what I wanted to cover. So. As you can tell, no, I'm not particularly interested. No, I'm not impressed when you take a look at some of the things that people are still crying out for when it comes to Elementor updates. But as always, let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Does this change the way in which you work? Are these massive changes to your everyday Elementor life? Let me know in the comments section. For me, nice to have quality of life, but pretty much once you set them, you'll forget them. And most people probably won't even use them. Anyway, my name is Paul C. This is WP Tuts, and until next time, take care.